So some babies have persisting jaundice and uh, it can be at a fairly high level as well. So there are infants seven days or older with the persistently elevated bilirubin close to the phototherapy threshold and this may be prolonged indirect hyperbilirubinemia. Most of these babies have breast milk jaundice. You can review my previous video on breast milk jaundice as well. Uh, other causes include hemolytic jaundice, uh, hypothyroidism, extravascular blood collection, pyloric stenosis, Gilbay syndrome and Krigler-Najjar syndrome. So if it continues despite your uh, interventions, uh, you may consider any of the other syndromes. Of course, in these cases also eliminating breast milk or adding formula is a consideration only to reduce the risk of needing phototherapy persistently. However, it's not an essential part if the bilirubin stays below the phototherapy level. The only uh, problem is the need for repeated monitoring. You don't need to monitor it that frequently if the trend is stable, but you do need to bring them up every one to two days to make sure it doesn't exceed the treatment level. If it does exceed the treatment level, you treat them according to the chart. Home phototherapy is a consideration where it is particularly prolonged, especially in the Krigler-Najjar syndrome. You should remember that in type 2 Krigler-Najjar, there is a role for phenobarbitone, which can induce a liver enzyme.